Hey everyone, it's Angel again. Welcome back to my little world here. Uh, cleaned off my desk today, which really just means that I just, um, you know, shoved everything um, to the side because <laughs> I wanted to do some painting. I haven't uh, done any watercolor paintings in a little while, so uh, I, you know, just wanted to clean off my desk. But before I do that, I really wanted to film um, a flip through of this little mini, mini junk journal that I made um, about a week before I moved here and I'd been working um, on it over the past month and I, I finally consider it finished. Um, so I wanted to do a flip through. I mean, there's still some pages, you'll see uh, once I start flipping, um, you'll see that there are more than a few pages that need um, just some finishing touches, but as far as like gluing anything in there, I mean, I can't even, look, I can't even close it. I mean, it is packed. And I just kind of like sit it up like that, which is wonderful. And I kind of have a confession to make because I told a little lie uh, to one of my viewers and I'm so sorry, um, but um, somebody had asked me about the junk journal that I made. Um, that I was supposed to give to my husband for Christmas. And I was like, oh yeah, uh, it was great. You know, he liked it, but um, that wasn't true. I, I never finished it because it was just, um, it was really difficult for me to work in it, you know, knowing that it was for someone. And so I just felt like I was, um, I don't know, it's hard to explain for me. I really couldn't, work freely in it and feel free working in it because I was uh, I felt like I was trying too hard and so I couldn't give it to my husband for Christmas and so I just said you know I told him like just you know sit tight wait and um I'm gonna get something you know nice uh, I will make something you know just as equally nice for you but I had to scrap it uh for a little while I'll go back to it um, especially now that I'm done. And then once, when I was like about 90% um, done, or feeling 90% done in this one, I thought, okay, I'm gonna give this one to my husband. So this is the one that I gave to my husband and he loved it. So uh, so yeah, let me just, uh, let me just get into it. So, um, so yeah, here, I mean, I, I, I think I made a video um, decorating like just putting the uh, little pieces here um, but this is just a Claritin box that I covered with napkin and uh, Mod Podge and these little uh, trims were from the dollar spot at Target so so yeah I'll try to go fast because um, you know I just really the way that I felt about this journal or the it doesn't really have a theme but I mean, if you see here where it says I am home, I, I, I did that um, probably like a few days after I moved into this place. And I just, so I had to pause again as, as, as often happens on this channel with my dogs. Um, but uh, I just wanna let you guys know before I keep going that um, there really are no th themes, you know, to my journals. I mean, this is, I, I want to say this one is the first one that I consider finished. You know, it's not completed, but it's finished. Um, but the feeling in it is like just the joy of, of being home, of being like in a home finally, where I feel comfortable and I'm happy and I'm with my dogs and we're all together again because my husband and I, um, we well he was in dallas a month before i was like he went on um and i didn't say anything on my instagram or on my dog's instagram page only to a couple people because i just like i didn't want people to know that i was there by myself even though like i know i don't have like a huge you know viewership um, but my dog's instagram is um i have a you know very big following on their instagram and so i just didn't want you know i don't know you never know um but I just wanted to celebrate the joy of all of us, you know, being home and being together. And, you know, when my husband was like looking through it, he was like, I, you know, I like it, but I don't, it's like, I don't understand it, you know, because I think he was expecting me to like write him this, you know, love letter. And there weren't any like love letters or anything like that. But I just, 
the way I explained it to him was like, if you could, I'm not really happy about this page, but you know, whatever. I think it's okay. I, it's just like putting, I just was like putting, um, you know, stuff from things that I bought. There's a like sugar packet. Um, this is, uh, I think the receipt from uh, when we got takeout hamburgers, stuff like that. I probably put some more stuff on it, but yeah. But uh, the way I was like explaining it to my husband was like, you know, if you could walk around, you know, in my brain <laughs> of what goes on in there, you know, and like the, the things that I think about, the images that I like, you know, that's what you would, would see. <laughs> There's a lot of like, <laughs> like tape stuck to it and stuff. This particular page is probably my favorite page in the whole book. Um, as you see, it's really religious. I'm not a religious person. I mean, I was raised in a very, very religious home, which is probably why I'm not religious. Um, you know, my parents, I'm not saying anything bad about the way that they raised us, but they took religion to a level of like, I think a lot, I think a lot of parents make that mistake of like pushing religion, you know, but it, <laughs> I mean, in their defense, they had three daughters to raise, and my father was in the Navy, um, you know, and, you know, just do, they were just doing the best they could to raise, you know, three daughters and a son, four kids, three of them girls, um, you know, on a Navy base. <laughs> so uh, I think um, that was just the, 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 the best way that they thought, you know, um, to do it right was to uh, enforce religion but I've always been even though I left the Catholic Church I don't really consider myself Catholic I don't think you can truly leave your religion even though I mean it stays with you even if you don't believe in certain things I mean I still do obviously I'm very faithful I call myself faithful I don't even call myself spiritual I think I am spiritual but I think it's um, a better description for me to say that I'm faithful um, because I do believe, but I do, I do question. And I, I think, and that's the reason why I put this little question mark here. Because I think it's important, you know. But yeah. So yeah, so that's what this page is about. And um, I wrote down um, the last uh, part of the Hail Mary. One of my earliest memories as a, as a child, I mean, even from being like two or three years old, one of my earliest memories is... Um, being in the dark with a candle on, like with a, a candle lit, and my mom um, praying her rosary. And so that's like a really big theme in my mind. I just, I've, I'm, I'm always like intrigued and interested by prayers, even though I don't really, I don't pray that much. Um, I feel like I should. It's probably like leftover of my Catholic guilt. Um, but what I do find intriguing is uh, prayers that sound like pleading and begging because very often, you know, people like me, when we do pray, it's like when we're, when we do need to beg, <laughs> when we do need to plead and we're desperate. And um, I just, I don't know, I just thought that that was interesting. And I do, uh, when I, when I left the church and I started going to a different church, a pro, like a Protestant church, um, a friend of mine that I made there, I think she felt comfortable enough with me to ask questions. And she asked me, you know, like, what is it with you Catholics and your obsession with the Virgin Mary? Like, what is it? And, um, like my answer for that with her was like, I can't really speak, you know, for other people, but like, for me, it's just like, sometimes it's like, you know, if God is my father, you know, and and Jesus is God, or Jesus is the Son of God, then where is my mother? Like, sometimes I need a woman, you know? Sometimes I need the presence of a woman. Sometimes I feel like only a woman can understand, you know? Anyway, I have to keep, pa I have to keep pausing, because like, there's, um, I think there's construction down the street, and it's making noise, and um, it's freaking my dogs out, but I don't, I don't want to uh, make this video super long, but I just, I wanted to talk about this page because I really like it. I, I, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, you know, magazine clippings, 
paint or ink stickers trim from the dollar spot at Target some more stickers and um, that's it stamp that's it <laughs> and then here like this doesn't really it's just like little cutesy little things just cutesy little things I, I got glue I couldn't get that glue off so so that's that page <laughs> I think I put this one on my Instagram page. Um, this is watercolor and it, this is just like regular paper, which I don't recommend. Um, if like, you know, somebody who wants to try watercolor, you gotta get watercolor paper because this like regular paper is really difficult to paint on. Um, but yeah, <laughs> anyway, um, another little watercolor. So just, you know. Cutesy little things. I can see this is where my, I think my husband thought that there was like a, uh, a little love note for him in there and he tried to pull it out and there wasn't. <laughs> but yeah. page I did I did with you guys I had fun with that another one of my favorite pages it feels done like you know if it like this page I mean it feels more done than like say um, you know like this page or or you know these pages even it just feels I don't know it feels finished it feels I don't know or like even this page here's some uh, here's one of the little images that I got in a um, in like a plastic bag for two dollars and fifty cents at a estate sale that I went to the other day and I filmed it this is like an earring I think that one of my neighbors found on the ground she asked if it was mine and I was like no but you can give it to me um, I just glued it there. I think that's Josephine Baker. I wanted to put some more stuff here, but it just felt, I don't know, it felt finished, you know, just did. And th this is more of like a Christmassy kind of like feel, but I just, I was fooling around, which is what my junk journals are for. They're for fooling around in. So this is from, um, a Peter Cottontail book that I got. I just, I love that he looks very disapproving and he's like chubby and he's got a little um a little pipe and i believe in the story he's waiting for peter cottontail and um either the cousin or his little friend to come back because they've done something wrong and he's going to spank them with that <laughs> i think so i'm not sure i'm not an expert on children's stories but this is just a playing card ace of diamonds I just randomly picked out a card. I got uh, like a little bridge set from Tuesday morning a couple weeks ago. I just thought it was pretty. So I, don't know. I just picked out a random card and it was the Ace of Diamonds. <clears throat> I didn't put anything here. I mean, there's really not much more I can do. I'm like, I can barely like, I can't even keep it open you know here's another page that I particularly like that I had a good time with it's pretty love it these are just random scraps of junk I think this is a candy wrapper this is from a Tim Holtz uh, ephemera pack this was from a uh, I think a pair of shorts that my husband bought. This is like the, the price tag on it. Um, some buttons my sister gave me. Some more of my little flowers that I love. I'm actually running out. I've used them so much. I gotta make some more. Um, and scrap paper and um, little flower flower images I got from a magazine. This, I, I don't remember where I got this um, 
you know, this old uh, image of the Brady Bunch. Um, but I cut it out, and I think from People Magazine, I'm not sure. I have I have a bunch of, like, magazine subscriptions um, from, like, I, I got a credit card because I wanted to use the Sky Miles, and then I decided I didn't like that particular airline, or my husband and I didn't like it, the airline, and I was like, I'm not going to fly on that airline anyway. And so um, I used them to get magazine subscriptions, so I have a bunch. But I like, I bless you. But I like this, I like this page too. It says, we are not these people. These people don't exist, you know? Anybody who grew up, you know, wishing that they could live in a Brady Bunch family, you know, is wasting their time. I just like this. I probably should have put some more something here, but I just, I don't know. I just liked the blunt, come back with a warrant, <laughs> you know? I don't know. I just liked it. And like I said, there's really not much more I can do in here. So it's it's kind of like it's it's done, but it's not finished. You know what I mean? But yeah, little mouse, little mouse girl. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, like just a price tag from another pair of shorts, right? Oh no, my backpack. A backpack I bought before we moved. And um and that's it. So that's it. That's my flip through. Um, if I add anything more to it, which I probably will, um, you know, one day, but if I ever add anything more to it and it, and it like, you know, it completely changes what's in here, you know, like a groundbreaking change in here, then, you know, I'll show you guys or I'll post it on Instagram if you're interested. Um, but I'm just really happy to say that this is done and to be done in it. And my husband loves it. And I'm sorry about that little white lie I told. Um, it's just because I, I, I don't think my husband watches the ch this channel. I mean, you see how much I talk on the channel. I mean, can you imagine what the poor man has to go through, you know, at home with me constantly talking? Um, so I doubt that he's going to sign up for, like, more, you know? Um, but it's just because I, like, I couldn't finish it because I just couldn't, I wasn't feeling free in it. I could not completely feel free in it. Like it was a, you know, like I was creating something. I felt like I was just, you know, gluing things down and putting things in there just to do it because I needed to give it as a gift. And, um, I, I couldn't quite put my finger on why I couldn't finish it and what I was going to do with it because I had already decided at that point that I wasn't going to give that one to my husband. So anyway, so yeah, so that, that's why, and I'm, I'm really sorry if you, you know, if you were the one who asked me and you're watching now, like, I'm really sorry. I, you know, I didn't tell you the truth, but I had good reason. And, um, like I said, I, I, I wasn't sure what exactly my plan was, but I'm happy about this now. And my husband really loved this one. And so this one's his, I'm guessing he's going to take it uh, and put it on his desk. Hopefully he will put it like that. <laughs> That's the way I like it. I like it like that. I think it's cool. Um, and you see how thick it is. I just, I love it. I'm so proud of it. Um, and I've already made another little mini. Um, but I'm saving this for a swap. I want to do a swap. I've never done a swap before. But I'm saving this for a swap. I'm going to make another mini. Um, I'll probably do it on camera. I'm not sure. Um, but I kind of need to take a break from, um, junk journaling, just at least for today. Um, just because I want to do some painting. It's been a while since I've done any, um, any good, um, watercolor painting. And, um, so I want to do that today. So yeah, so, uh, that's the end of my video. I thank you so much for watching and bearing with me. And um, let me know what you think. Let me know if there's anything you'd like to see or if you have any suggestions or recommendations about how I could improve what I'm doing and improve my art. I am always so open and eager, you know, to learn new things and, um, and share and, you know, share my mistakes and share uh, what I've learned and um, just share art. Because I think that that's what it's for. I mean, that's really such a joy in my life is to look at art, share art, uh, talk about art, make art, and um, live in art. So um, 
So yeah, thanks again for watching. Uh, go out and make something and do something that makes you happy and brings you joy in your life, truly. Uh, I, I wish you that. And I will see you in the very next video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Take care.